The proton K, also designated proton 8K82 K after its Grau index, 8K82 K, was a Russian, previously Soviet, carrier rocket derived from the earlier proton. It was built by Khrunichev, and launched from Sites 81 and 200 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The maiden flight on 10 March 1967 carried a Soyuz 7 KL-1 as part of the Zond program. During the so-called, ''Moon Race'', these Proton, Soyuz, Zond flights consisted of several uncrewed test flights of Soyuz spacecraft to highly elliptical or circumlunar orbits with the unrealized aim of landing Soviet cosmonauts on the Moon. It was retired from service in favor of the modernized Proton M, making its 311th and final launch on the 30th of March 2012. Topic: Vehicle description. The baseline Proton K was a three-stage rocket. 30 were launched in this configuration, with payloads including all of the Soviet Union's Salyut space stations, all mere modules with the exception of the docking module, which was launched on the United States Space Shuttle, and the Zarya and Svezda modules of the International Space Station. It was intended to launch Chelemy's manned TKS spacecraft, and succeeded in launching four unmanned tests flights prior to the program's cancellation. It was also intended for Chelemy's 20-ton LKS spaceplane that was never realized. Like other members of the Universal Rocket family, the Proton K was fueled by unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide. These were hypergolic fuels which burn on contact, avoiding the need for an ignition system, and can be stored at ambient temperatures. This avoids the need for low temperature tolerant components, and allowed the rocket to sit on the pad fully fueled for long periods of time. In contrast, cryogenic fuels would have required periodic topping up of propellants as they boil off. The fuels used on the Proton, were, however, corrosive and toxic and required special handling. The Russian government paid for the cleanup of residual propellant in spent stages that impact downrange. Proton components were built in factories near Moscow, then transported by rail to the final assembly point near the pad. The first stage of the Proton K consisted of a central oxidizer tank, and six outrigger fuel tanks. This separated as one piece from the second stage, which was attached by means of a lattice structure interstage. The second stage ignited prior to first stage separation, and the top of the first stage was insulated to ensure that it retained its structural integrity until separation. The first stage used six road 253 engines, designed by Valentin Glushko. The road 253 is a single chamber engine and uses a staged combustion cycle. The first stage guidance system was open loop, which required significant amounts of propellant to be held in reserve. The third stage was powered by an Rode 0210 engine and four vernier nozzles, with common systems. The verniers provided steering, eliminating the need for gimballing of the main engine. They also aided stage separation, and acted as ullage motors. Ducts built into the structure channeled vernier exhaust before stage separation. 
The third stage guidance system was also used to control the first and second stages earlier in flight. Many launchers used an upper stage to boost the payload into a higher orbit. Block D upper stages were used on 40 flights, the majority of which were for the lunar and Zond programs. Ten flights used the Block D-1, mostly to launch spacecraft towards Venus. Block D-2 upper stages were used three times, with the Phobos-1, Phobos-2 and Mars-96 spacecraft. The Block D-M upper stage was used on 66 launches. The most commonly used upper stage was the Block minus two German Marks, which was used on 109 flights, mostly with GLONASS and Raduga satellites. Fifteen launchers used the modernized Block minus two million German Marks stage, mostly carrying Express satellites. However, other satellites, including Utilsat's SESAT-1, also used this configuration. Two Iraq satellites were launched using Block minus five German Marks upper stages. The Block 1 German Mark, a commercial version of the Minus 2 German Marks, was used to launch Inmarsat 3 F2. The Block 2 German Marks upper stage was used to launch three groups of seven Iridium satellites, including Iridium 33. This configuration was also used to launch Integral for the European Space Agency. Block 3 German Marks stages were used on 25 launches, almost exclusively carrying commercial satellites. Telstar 5 was launched with a Block 4 German Marks. The Breeze M upper stage was used for four launches, three carrying payloads for the Russian government, and one commercial launch with GE 9 for GE Americam. One launch was reported to have used a Block-3 German Marks upper stage, however this may have been a reporting error, and it is unclear whether this launch actually used a minus 3 German Marks, 3 German Marks, or minus 2 German Marks. <laughs> launch failures. Source Topic See also Comparison of heavy lift launch systems List of proton launches